that's a wrap on the 2013-2014 season. It's been a tremendous year, so it only makes sense that when the who's who of golf came in here at the Tour Championship this week, we also had a fantastic closing week to this season, including a very memorable Sunday here at East Lake. Let's show you everything. From the highlights on Sunday, we'll start it off on the first hole with Webb Simpson, a Ryder Cup captain's pick from Mr. Tom Watson. Not the week he was looking for, but a beautiful start to his day there as he sticks it to five feet from 137 yards out. And then over to Patrick Reed, another Ryder Cup U.S. team member as he finds himself in trouble early in his round, but escapes beautifully from the trees there and also makes that long putt coming back for the birdie. So Patrick Reed starting off his day in an maybe overly exciting way, but still gets the job done. Adam Scott now, his approach shot. And he is staring this one down like he likes it, as he should, as he spins it back to five feet. Adam Scott would finish even on his day four under for the tournament. Anything under par this week we saw is a very good result. It's a challenging par 70 course here. We saw a lot of high numbers. Jason Day also finding himself in trouble like Reed did. Only he had an even better result as he leaves himself two feet 11 inches from the cup for a really nice birdie on the first, which could have been a much higher number. He would finish off seven under overall for his tournament. Ricky Fowler, a player that has found himself in contention on the big stage pretty much the entire time this year. Remember, finished top five in all of the majors as he leaves himself a beautiful birdie opportunity there, which he would go on to convert. This, Jordan Spieth makes a long bomb here on the sixth. Remember, he had that very unexpected 80 in round three. Did not have the week he was looking for, but will look to get it together before the Ryder Cup also in a couple of weeks. Adam Scott from just off the green from the fringe. He drains that bomb with the wave. Fans loving Adam Scott this week. Pretty sure he's a favorite everywhere he goes. Over to Ryan Palmer on the 6 T. A challenging hole, especially with the pin placement, that back right. But Ryan Palmer making it look easy as he leaves himself four feet there for the birdie, which he would go on to make Palmer finishing at six under overall for his tournament. A very strong finish for Ryan Palmer. And Sergio Garcia, an incredible day for him, including this chip in for the birdie from 38 feet out. Talk to him after his round. A bogey-free round at Eastlake is always a good thing, especially when you finish off strong like that for the season. He could not have been happier with his performance on Sunday. Jeff Ogilvy did not have the performance he was looking for, but he did finish his round playing by himself in two hours, 23 minutes, finishing, though, at 20 over par. Brendan Todd, he carded the low round of the day along with Sergio Garcia, that four under, and that with the final birdie on the 18th. And then we head over to Bubba Watson. This we can safely call the putt of the day. We heard the roars from all over the course. Take a look at that. Bubba Watson reading that long one perfectly to get it back to even par. But no roars were bigger than the one that we saw on the 72nd hole for Billy Horschel. This would have been for birdie, but that doesn't even matter. Big smiles for Horschel as he walks up for his tap in to claim the tour championship by Coca-Cola and of course the FedEx Cup. Billy Horschel is your 2013-2014 FedEx Cup champion. He said it all week long. He was incredibly confident. I asked him after his round on Saturday, are you intimidated at all by being paired with world number one Rory McIlroy considering what he's done on such a big stage all season long? Billy said, nope, I am ready for this. And he backed up everything he's been saying since the beginning of the playoffs. It's been a tremendous season. Thank you to everyone that has been watching us all season long on our live app coverage. We look forward to doing it again with you next year.